Okay, so we're going to do a quick video today um, for some of you who are a little bit newer at using Design Space and uploading the SVG files. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one of my SVG files that I'm actually going to upload to my site uh, later on today or tomorrow for free. And you can actually download this very same file and go through the steps. So what you're going to do is, let's say you've already downloaded it to your desktop and you've unzipped the folder and you have your SVG file. You're going to come into Design Space. Let me back out here. Once you're signed in and you're going to create a new project and then you're going to come over here to Upload upload image you're going to go and find it on your computer the one I'm using is Beach Life we'll let it get uploaded here so now you can see the preview of it you can name your image whatever you want to name it and tag it and you're going to save the image And now you see it showing here in your recently uploaded images. We still have to select it so that we can get this button over here to insert images. All right, now that you've got it uploaded, it's all selected together. You can see it's all grouped. And we're just going to move it. I always like to start mine right here. Um, sometimes it's easier just to use your little boxes up here at the top for the position. So you've got it exact. All right, now I'm going to resize this. Let's say I'm going to put it on a shirt, um, maybe a lady shirt. We're going to make this 10 inches wide. Or oh, excuse me, that's actually nine inches wide because I started at one. And again, you can use this right up here if it's easier for you to be exact. And as long as this little lock button is up here, then your proportions will stay the same. You want that. Okay, so now we've got the, the size that we're going to cut it to. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to come over here and you're going to ungroup everything. Then you're going to select the layer that has all of the blue text in it. And just because the text is blue doesn't mean that's what color you have to use vinyl. You can use whatever color you want of your vinyl. All right, so we've selected that. I'm going to go down here and click Attach. That keeps all those letters attached together. Now we're going to do the same thing on the next layer with all the peach colored items in it, we're going to click attach. Now at this point you would save your project or I would save it. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to go right to the make it screen. And now it's sorting into the different colored mats. All right, there's your first one that you're going to cut out. And you can see on the images where there's cutout spaces, that's where the letters are going to fit. Now what you want to do is if this is for a t-shirt, you're going to have to mirror your mats before you cut them. Okay, so let's say that you went ahead and cut that, and now you come back to this one. There's your words. And again, you're going to mirror to cut. And then you'll be able to layer these two together and they'll fit, fit perfectly together. All right, let me cancel this and I want to show you something. I'm going to hit Control Z, which is going to undo what I did. And I'm going back to the beginning where everything is still grouped together. Now, let's just say I uploaded this file and I tried to cut it as is. Let's see what happens. What it's going to do, it's going to give you all those little pieces 
and it's going to smush them all together out of order to give you the least amount of vinyl that you have to cut. You don't want this. Let me give you a better example with Matt too with the words. That's how the machine saw that file and sorted the letters to give you the best cut of your vinyl to save you material. But there's no way you could put that on a shirt like that. So let's cancel. And again, the first thing you have to do is you select all or you can just tap on this group up here on the layers and you're going to ungroup it. So we'll do this one more time real quick. You click on the blue layers, you're going to attach. You click on the peach layers, you're going to attach. Go to make it. And now your file will cut out so that you can layer the two file files perfectly. And that's it. That's all for today. Hope this helps. Have a great day.